Hello and welcome back to another brush sauce paint over. Here we're going to take my student Oliver's uh, piece and we're going to liven it up. We're going to add a lot of nice details, we're going to balance out the lighting, and we're going to uh, push some of the last uh, remaining elements that could be addressed uh, in the image. So let's begin. Alright, so I met with him the week before. I think this is off to a great start. We had discussed uh, some of the layouts and what he wanted to show. Uh, it basically has a lot of the elements we, we talked about, except for some of the characters, which he is going to put in afterwards. So, I like the colors that are really happening in this scene. It, it's really, it is difficult to paint a night scene, and I, I often gauge the first thing by kind of just desaturating it, zooming, you know, way out, and kind of breaking apart some of the shapes. And I think, you know, some of these elements that I'm highlighting, I want to go in and change. The first being the sky and the building separation. So I select them all, you know, select the sky and add more uh, contrast to that. A little bit more blue, a little more atmosphere, and get those, the top of the buildings, at least a little bit darker to get those shapes to read a little bit easier. And I'm, again, setting more atmosphere back into the various levels to create more depth. You know, a little bit more ambient light coming up from the city, so a bit warmer in uh, tones, and then a little more saturation in the cool uh, colors to push uh, the, the night life. So now I'm kind of selecting this alleyway here and I'm doing that. I want to create major separation between the leftmost corner building and the, the depth of that alleyway. So I'm darkening that alleyway and I'm also cooling it off. And I'm going to do the opposite by kind of brightening up uh, the foreground shape and I'm going to add you know, warmer colors to it. And that should be you know, playing at dark versus light and warm versus cool. You know, a couple different ways of contrast to really help get uh, the three-dimensional, uh, the three-dimensionality of the scene to kind of pop a little bit more. And again, when I have a building, even though it, you know, buildings kind of start off as boxy, I want to push and pull various forms whenever I can. So I, I kind of took some of those elements there and uh, and extruded them out. Now I'm also grabbing. Uh, the windows are great, but they're also completely empty. Put signs on them. I, I recommended put the flyers. I selected various elements inside to kind of hint or show a little bit of form. You know, like ceiling meets wall, etc., etc. Just a little bit of a hint. And as I was telling Oliver here, it's great to take and you know push and pull forms to get buildings to look further and further away from the kind of box and geometric shapes that they are. Add little elements. You know, window sills radiators, uh, pipes, um, grooves, kind of like I'm doing here on the front. See, it just brings the front of that, that store or that office building, whatever it may be, maybe it's apartments. Uh, it's bringing it a lot more to life and it, it's, it's basically filling a rather empty space on the scene. You know, sometimes empty space is good, but in a very densely populated urban kind of setting like this, I like to populate it with non-distracting, uh, simpler kind of detail so breaking and subdividing further shapes like I'm doing here on the windows like kind of breaking down the sill adding different uh, poles add some curtains in there and then I recommend and I do this I'm not drawing this kind of in true color these few things but like you know throw some pants on there maybe throw a towel overhanging maybe add a plant you know on top of the uh, the railing up there you know add signs of life add characterization you know, for people inhabiting, maybe add even support structures to that. Not necessary, but if you want to fill it with detail, uh, it's a great way to do it. Uh, the other thing I recommended is start to, he has a business um, of sorts where he's going to put an office in the back. So I was like, you know, put a light in there, put some kind of glowing light, something that you can, you can design, put it into the scene, it'll draw, you know, more attention to that area, which we want to do. You know, reinforce that light shooting out from uh, the alleyway, so you know, getting some directional light in there, um, and that will help kind of bring all all that up a little bit as well. And then, you know, once that's done, you can bounce some of that light into the shutters and stuff into the back into the background building, and that will help liven up the colors a little bit more too. Uh, the other thing I recommend or, or suggested is maybe adding some more shadows and layers of depth on the forms on those background buildings too and like literally you could do that with any area and form uh, on this scene that one of the major things i was discussing with oliver was that you know it is very boxy very geometric and we want to fake detail fake depth fake form not necessarily fake it but add more of it all when possible kind of like i'm doing here with this light so i'm like yeah what if we turn a light on you know in that little window there and that light right it's kind of just 
throwing light onto some of these forms and some of these elements over here and see it just gives it a little bit more texture to it a little a little bit more visual uh, candy for the viewer to chew on always good in these type of scenes I recommend and what's great is like you can really see a great hand painted approach to this one whereas in last week's kind of paint over session we were working mostly with photos mostly with 3d and this is all kind of raw by hand and, and that, for the most part and that and that's what's really great about it that there's so many ways to approach things and we were kind of ending uh, a lot of our discussion uh, with this by saying you know if after you block out a lot of the forms which is what we got today uh, add some of that visual uh, literal texture into the scene go in with you know get rid of the airbrushy look to it add you know get some custom brushes or get some natural media types of brushes go in and make things feel a little gritty a little bit aged very worn very lived in you know it is a city unless the building was built you know last week uh, why not you know, add some of the top forms and some of the lights even reflecting, you know, maybe more like there's a puddle in the water. Little things like that to really pop out uh, the dark shapes in that alleyway. That's kind of what we're addressing here. So I am jumping all over the place, but I'm literally just attacking, you know, the larger problems down to the smaller ones as I'm thinking one. Now, this is kind of like one of those nice big red, I think the, those, there might be a proper name for it, but they're in Britain, those big red buses. So, yeah, you want to kind of fix the color on that a little bit. And I, I just start throwing in some, some magentas and some very cool reds. But I, and this is where you'd have to go get a very specific reference of those buses in the evening to really kind of play up how these would look. Now, again, without references, I'm like, you know, maybe we'd see some lights in there. So, I, again, I took a shape of the window, threw some lights in, maybe even add... Uh, you know some silhouettes for characters to even just kind of fake you know start to populate the scene where you know where applicable and that can always help to the believability and stuff you know make these windows feel a little bit transparent kind of just get that light in there you can it doesn't have to be the most detailed thing you know bounce some of the warm lights onto the dumpsters that you know, kind of I'm doing here but that is the best part about light the color painting in general it's like you know once you you kind of grab it by the balls you, you could toss it into anything <laughs> you, you can put a little bit of orange into that a little over there you know that that color is talking to that one and I love to have my colors and my scenes you know communicate with each other and I love to manipulate them and I love to go a little further with it than I may think and I can scale things back at the back end if I need to but more often than not I, I can get deeper richer colors you know by going a little more aggressive with them and you know, have that the fill light from the sky illuminating the side of the pipe for instance getting the warm light from the window bouncing up that side i love color so see we're already making great progress we can see that a lot there's a lot more balance to it, a little bit more visual detail uh, there's a lot more going on with the lighting you know we're getting that looking a little bit more sophisticated um and then yeah basically it's kind of like a little bit of the polishing touches that uh I, you know i'd kind of go from now so i where we have that big wall in the alleyway that's really planned it's like you know it's a city you know throw some graffiti in there I, you know of course the a more proper way to do it is to download like a graffiti font kind of make your own easter egg or your own s slogan your own sign your own tag you know type it out design it throw it in there but you know for the sake of time because this student had like three other pieces we had to look at in this session um you know i just throw a photo to kind of show you how that space could visually look with a little bit of that um that urban uh, detail and so see that that kind of without kind of overstepping its welcome right it's not taking anything away from the design of the image it's not distracting but it kind of fits there well I, I liked it a lot uh, the next I just wanted to emphasize a little bit more of that form on the front of this building here you know illuminating some light getting kind of chucked up there maybe from the bus maybe from the street and I kind of show how to maybe approach you know coming at that with maybe a few different um, uh, textures right maybe that's a window maybe this is concrete so I, I kind of treat them a little bit differently and I kind of kind of come back and erase a little bit to show that there would be a little bit of shadow there from the ledge that is extruding out so that, that again any kind of trick I can think of to really fake three dimensions in a scene like this can uh, do wonders yeah, so there's going to be characters kind of just to the left of that bus, and it's going to look great. Um, I'm sure I was going to do a great job, but hopefully you guys enjoyed something. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if, if you did enjoy this, and take care.